Teresa Freed with Johnson County Government. It's our goal to stop the spread of COVID-19 in our community. We also want to make sure you have the latest information on our efforts. For data on how COVID-19 is impacting the county, visit our dashboard on jocogov.org. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Lamaster, local health officer, public health officer for Johnson County. We want to talk a little bit about types of masks and masks that you can use. I don't have today an N95 mask. This is a mask, sometimes you'll see it, people wearing them. They are the sort of mask that you wear if you're working around uh, wood or high amount of dust. You'll sometimes, people, you used to see people wearing this who are working in workshops. These fit very tightly around the face. Uh, and they have the added advantage that they protect the person wearing them because they, they eliminate air coming in and out around the side of the mask. All the air has to come in and out through the mask. Uh, they do, uh, th there are certain types of N95 masks that have an exhalation valve. Uh, we don't recommend the use of those. Those actually protect the person wearing it, but not the people that they're with because the exhalation allows all of their breath to go out through the valve. Uh, then there are surgical masks. You'll see these worn in clinics, uh, in healthcare systems. Uh, there's good evidence that these work quite well. They have multiple layers of protection. So uh, our surgical staff and all of the healthcare staff in the hospitals are wearing these. We, if patients come without a mask, we give a patient to wear these. This is the, the sort of mask uh, that is a disposable mask. You want to make sure that it's tight down around your nose. It is not effective if it pulls down and your nose is sticking out and you're breathing out through your nose, then all the breath is coming out here. Remember that these masks are not tight enough around your face that they are protecting you, the wearer. They are rather protecting the other person who you are uh, in contact with. Uh, cloth masks. So cloth masks should be two layered. This is one that, that uh, we made in my family, has double layers. Uh, you can make these easily by, uh, to have a, a tight place around your nose by putting a bread stay inside of the, the, uh, the, the mask. These are washable masks, so they can go after you have worn them one day and been out in the community with them. Your hands have touched the outsides of them. Uh, you want to put those through the wash in some way uh, to disinfect them. Uh, they could be disinfected uh, in any, through any standard type of a wash cycle. I would recommend using hot water uh, to recommend to do that. Uh, if you have uh, soap that will include bleach, that's great, but it's not necessary. Just as when your hands are washed for 20 seconds, when these masks go through a wash cycle, uh, they're clean as well. For more information about COVID-19 in Johnson County, visit jococov.org forward slash coronavirus. You can also subscribe to a daily e-newsletter with the latest data and precautions being taken in the county and state.